Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to do what we didn't do last time, which is document our search results. In the last video, we ran search results for three database slash platforms. We exported those results into EndNote. And the one thing I didn't do that I really need to do is document that search so that it's reproducible and transparent. That's critical. I've gone back to my search documentation and I've added a table. Now how you do this is up to you as long as you've done it. So if you like a different format, if you like a different type of file, that's all okay with me. We ran this on May 25th, 2023. And if you'll recall, we got 261 results in PubMed. We got 450 results in Embase. We got 444 results in Scopus. Now we did not apply filters in any way. Nothing for language, nothing for date, nothing for species, nothing for publication type. And that is exactly the way I like it. I really prefer not to do those kinds of filters in systematic review work. It introduces bias, it's not reliable, so we don't do that usually. Maybe for a very special exception, it's possible. And what we need to do now is capture those numbers in our document. Let's go back to the document. So it was 261. In Embase, it was 450. In Scopus, it was 444. Now note that I've put the platform here as well. So if you needed to write the methods or if somebody was looking at your work, they know that you ran it in PubMed on the NCBI platform, which happens to be the only PubMed. Embase is held on Elsevier and also on Ovid, so it does help to make that distinction that we ran it on the Elsevier platform, which is embase.com. Scopus also held on an Elsevier platform, 444. And the total here is uh, 1,155, I believe. And then we would put the duplicates removed. So if you were using Covidence Rayon, you would put the number here. We don't have that today. We don't have that yet. And that would also give us the unique results left. If you're using Covidence or Rayon, they will tell you how many duplicates were removed. So that's a number you should definitely pay attention to. And then because I end up working with so many different teams in so many different disciplines, what I always do now is put my name on it, my affiliation, and also probably my email, just so that people can find me if they need to long after the search has been done. I hope that helps. The search needs to be documented, transparent, reproducible. If you're doing a literature review or a systematic review or a review of any type, good luck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Friday.